Hey, what's up, Rory? A uh, quick demo video for you for your KR Sabres Thrawn Hunters. And these are both installed uh, with the Goth Master chassis. So we're going to start with the panels off on both of them um, so that I can show you everything that's going on in the chassis. And then um, I'll cut the video and I'll put these together and we'll come back and I'll show you how it works with the panel on and everything, right? Um, but when you open these up, especially on, well, on the sheen here, you've got your coffee board right here you've got your battery right here and then you've got a crystal chamber right here and then over here in these this greebly section you've got a 12 pixel accent and then uh, lastly you've got a 24 millimeter kr saver speaker to get to your board and your battery though you can go ahead you can either take this door and flip it open you could take this side and flip it open or you could just come over here and take the entire thing out It's on magnets. Uh, it's got six magnets. So one, two, three, four over here, five and six. If this was in the chassis, you could flip it up this way, close it or flip it up this way to get to your battery and close it. But it's, uh, it's, it's really just easier to take the entire thing off if you need to get to anything, right? Um, once you take that off, it exposes your profi board, which is easy to get to your SD card and your micro USB, but you will need an L shaped connector. And then, um, also your battery, obviously, right? But I'm gonna leave your battery in there for now. But I'll put that door back on. We'll come over here and we will pull your kill key. And I'll turn this light off. And I've got both the accents and the crystal doing a little something when the saber's off, right? We'll come over here and turn it on. Now, if I open this doorway so you can see your crystal chamber, you can see your motor spinning right there. So hopefully you can see that I gave you twist off and then the motor will turn off when the saber's off. I didn't give you swing on. Um, each of these sabers only has one sound font on it and then a copy of the config files on the SD card so you can see what I did there. But one more time, if we came over here and turned it on, And you could see it went to blue and then the, of course the motor is spinning over here. All right. And then we'll flip this down. Still spins when the doors close. And then we could twist off just like that. And then go ahead and put the kill key back in it. This kill key uh, that came with this particular chassis is not working super well. Um, I'm having a lot of difficulties getting it to stay shut off. Um, so I'm going to send this without the batteries in them. And that's probably why you've seen, you'll probably have seen some edits up to this point in the video because it kept flipping on on me, even when I wasn't touching it. Um, so if you have a different kill key to go in here, that's probably better because this one's kind of acting up a little bit. All right. Um, but we'll put that off to the side and we'll go over your sheet or your Shoto, which is the same thing. Basically you got your profit board right here your battery, and then you have a crystal chamber here with a rotating crystal. These panels do come off as well. It's the same thing as the other guy. So six magnets. The only difference between this one and the other one is one is curved one way and this one is curved this way to fit into this saber. But once you take this off, you got the same type of setup. So you can get to your SD card and your, and your micro USB, take your battery in and out, right? And then we'll throw the We'll throw this back on just because it looks cool when it's everything's fired up. And then I'll come over here and pull this kill key. This one is just uh, the crystal chamber on this guy, right? Because it's the smaller of the two. So if I open up this guy, open up this door right here, you can see this just kind of pulsing when it's off. And then when I turn it on, hopefully you can see your motor spinning as well, All right? And, you, and then you've got twist off and we can close that door down. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to come over here and um, cut the video, put everything back together, 
and then I'll come back and show you what everything looks like with the panels on. All right. Okay, so I finally got everything back together and we'll go over this guy first. Um, each of these come with a blade extender right here. Um, you've got stock V3s in here for your NeoPixel connector, but you take your blade extender when you want to put a blade in and you screw it right on. Um, they'll come with a blade plug, which I've got in your box, and then they come with one of these. But we'll take this and tighten it up first and then take a one inch diameter blade, throw it in, and then we'll lock it down with a little blade retention screw that's on each of these extenders right here. And then since there is only the one font, we'll just fire this up real quick so that you can see that the um, pixel pins are doing what they're supposed to do. And then we'll move on to the other one, right? One button set up. If you want blade lock up, you'll hold down the button and hit the saber at the same time. And you got the blade lock up right there. Just like that. So this guy's working well. We'll take this out. Um, one thing I forgot to do is the batteries that came with your kit. Uh, these are brand new batteries, so they do need to be charged. Um, I didn't charge them and I'm demoing the saber with them right now. So yeah, they're definitely going to need to be charged. But we'll take the uh, blade out of that well, and I'll just use the same one here because they're interchangeable. And I'll leave your other one all wrapped up. So we'll come over here, screw it into this Shoto. Make sure it's tight. Come over here and lock this blade down too. over here and pull the kill switch activation and this guy's firing up exactly like it should too nice blade lock up Just like that. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and take the blade out of this guy. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go through here and take these back apart before I send them out. Um, I wanna take the batteries out of them. Um, I don't have full faith in these particular kill keys and I don't want them coming on during transit and trying to get some, and it, it will get someone's attention and it will kill your batteries. So um, yeah, I'll take these back apart before I put them back in the box. Um, but that's basically your Thrawn Hunters. Let me know if you got any questions, and if not, I can get these out in the mail to you tomorrow. All right, thanks.